It's only been a week, but it feels like more than that from being away from you guys. Um, it's been really busy and actually um, just the time for Omar and I just to just be happy and soak in being back. I have finally made it home um, and home is Upper Left, USA. Uh, we're in the Olympic Peninsula. We're in the Olympic National Park area um, in Olympic National Forest. Um, we're actually uh, based um, in Forks, Washington and um, La Push, Washington. The greenery around me is even more intense in person if you guys have never been to the peninsula. Uh, something totally indescribable. Um, such a great feeling to be back and kind of that's why I took my pause um, just to absorb it and really soak in the feeling of being back and just being in my, my happy place. The temps are in the higher 50s, lower 60s um, today and it's, it's so refreshing. And some people don't love this weather, especially for June. Um, we're actually expecting um, a rainier June. We've had a rainier June and a little bit of a, a cooler June. Um, we're not complaining though. We just came from Utah. We came from all of the hot, the heat, the dusty winds, and this is just, it's such a great temper to be back into. We are going to be um, here in the Pacific Northwest specifically um, all summer long and through fall. Um, this is where we base ourselves um, specifically for a longer period of time here in the peninsula. So with that being said, you're gonna see a lot of typical Northwest. Um, we are in the wettest place in the continental US, so you're gonna see a lot of rainforest landscape. Um, you get to see the beautiful Pacific Ocean. Um, so the whole coast here, it's absolutely gorgeous. You guys are gonna get to be able to explore that with us and my favorite places in the whole entire world, which happens to be here. The way the fog goes in between the trees and around the lake is absolutely the same vibes of twilight. You may be a big twilight lover like me, but this is the place that gives you those ultimate feelings. It's just so mystical. Lake Crescent is one of the most beautiful sites. It's so pure, it's so calm, peaceful, and it's just peninsula paradise, honestly. I mean, just coming out here and seeing like the crystal clear water and the temp, the, the actual temperate for the summertime is amazing. And the dense fog even makes it more magical. It's indescribable, you have to come here to see it. It's a really, really huge lake. This is quite shaky when you go further out. <gasps> so we were here a couple of days ago and the water wasn't this high. Just because we, it rained in the past couple of days, it rained so much. So now the water is up to here. Yeah guys, this is the boat launch and how much it's covered. We made our way around Lake Crescent and into Lower Elwha um, and had a little nice sunset. We arrived to Rialto Beach, which is one of my favorite beaches alongside of First Beach in La Push. We were so excited to share the moments together since Omar is pretty new to the area.
So this over here is actually the lower, lower village. Um, so River's Edge restaurant is right back here. And after that split, that island split is actually first beach and then second and then third. We left Rialto Beach and headed over through the res to my favorite beach in the entire world, first beach in La Push. Look at that sunshine, baby. That's one of the rare occurrences that happens here and you guys caught it with us. And that's one of the huge tree stumps. Look at those roots on that, huge. It's been there for um, quite a few years um, since I've been coming, so quite a massive tree. This is the entrance into the campsite we're staying at, which is actually on Washington state land. So use your discovery pass and you can stay for free. Another question you might have is, are we still boondocking? Yes, we are still boondocking. Um, we do have our discovery pass, which if you're new to Washington, haven't been to Washington, um, the discovery pass basically is, a, I believe it was $35 for the entire year, and it gives you access to some state parks to be able to camp for free um, for like seven days consecutively at a time and like bounce around to other state campgrounds. Um, there happens to be a lot within um, the peninsula and Olympic National. Um, so this pass is great for it. Um, we're using it right now. Um, and like I said, $35 for the whole entire year. Our plan is to be able just to, you know, there's a seven day around limit for these campgrounds. So there's enough in the area, thankfully, to just be able to hop around every seven days um, and just to be able to move um, and be in these campsites. And it's totally free with your pass. There's a lot of powwows happening, um, which is amazing here in Western Washington. Uh, so we're gonna be at quite a few. Um, there's one going on this weekend. It's currently Saturday, just so you guys know. Um, we may check that out tomorrow, um, but there's gonna be so many um, here uh, within the next few weeks in the summertime. The feeling of coming back here and feeling of coming home really hit hard for me, especially the first day or two. And I didn't catch that on film because I was just living in the now. And I'm truly grateful to be here um, with my partner and just to be able to show you guys 
Um, we are still going to be traveling within the, within the whole peninsula, within Oregon, um, and also to other national parks. I mean, we will get t back to Montana, to Glacier, um, but we're just living in our type of paradise, which is here. I'm excited to bring you guys along and really show you the true raw beauty of here um, and also kind of show you my day-to-day -day life um, within the area while living in an RV. Uh, so that'll be cool to have more of like a semi-stable routine day-to-day -day for the moment. So you guys will see that, which is fun. Um, and we just get to go on new hikes almost every day, which is phenomenal because they're on the coast of the Pacific Ocean. Like, honestly, I take a lunch break, go for a new hike right on the coast. It's like, pinch me, honestly. That's how I feel, so. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.